Uh, hi there, it's uh, Larry uh, Podzoy, Podzabinski again. Uh, I'm saying now, uh, what has become of you, my child, my uh, book, In the Grip of Paranoid Schizophrenia? Many aspects are involved at this point of uh, August, September uh, 2017. Uh, I had promised a January 2017 publication date of the third edition and well what's going on is uh, there's this formatting needing done yet that I can't do. Uh, my brother I was just talking to uh, recently and he said that's very hard to do that type of formatting with Microsoft Word uh, where, where, like in the headers where the chapter goes on one side of the open page and on the other side of the open page is the name of the book, you know, and, and to get those to fit right into place is, is a very, he said he could almost say he could do it, but he said he knows what kind of nightmare headache he's getting into. So I got this guy supposed to be doing this and every six months we pass back and forth like he says he'll work something up and then I never hear nothing and so it's, it's, it's a go-nowhere thing, but there's much more to it than that now. Uh, uh, my brother, also uh, a business major, uh, suggested I make it available as a free ebook. Uh, what's behind that is that uh, when you're in a situation like I am in with this illness for uh, 42 years at this point in 2017, uh, you need medical treatment that, that you can't ignore, society can't ignore. You know, I mean, I, I can't afford the medical treatment I, I, I incur just to stay well with my paranoid schizophrenia turned residual type schizophrenia because I've been so well for so long and that's just the way it is. Uh, so, uh, I can't make any money. I have no job skills. I do different things. I'm very good, you know, uh, deeply intellectual, uh, certain techno, uh, type things, uh, uh, musical things I've been doing lately, trying to do, uh, uh, even have more fun now that I'm getting my things all, system all straightened out. But, uh, but, uh, so, so the, the aspects involved in maintaining uh, uh, what they call Social Security Disability Benefits uh, involve Medicaid when your benefits are so low that you could not afford to pay for them. The rest of the benefits out of your check that you're getting without having nothing left to live on, let alone buy medicine or food or anything else, you know what I mean? So. So it's a pitiful place to be, but you know, the only way my life makes sense is to try to teach others or, or impart onto others, you know, what is what what, what this category and you know, you know, this, this illness does to people, you know, I mean, and, and it affects you this way where you you, you can be unreliable uh, to work. Uh, it's the case is with me, uh, the way I sleep, strange hours. That's like a roulette. It's a joke, personal joke of a lot of friends. Uh, for the the Podzoid relay, you know, the, how many hours will I sleep? How many hours will I be awake? Uh, it's it's crazy, but uh, but uh, so uh, you have to afford these benefits, and uh, and if you if you earn any income, uh, as in reference to the income from the book, I mean, there's been very little income from the book. I'd say maybe four hundred dollars over a ten year period. You know, I mean I've seen come back from that book. I mean so uh you know, so that doesn't get me cut off my benefits, but now they've changed things and they've done away with like the monthly deductible equivalent and they call it something different, but and and and, and, and but they've set a cap at your income and if I make any money on this book I could lose my medical benefits and not be able to care for myself, which doesn't apply to anybody else in most cases other than themselves, you know, and, you know, in their existence, existence. Uh, so, uh, but 
in, in this case, it, with an illness like schizophrenia, it, it involves other people, people that are immediately around you, and in paranoid schizophrenia, the way mine was manifest, uh, it involved people like the United States Secret Service, the CIA Security Operations Center, the FBI, the Justice Department, the Pentagon, NASA, I mean, they all are not immune from my phone, delusional phone calls about all that UFO technology and all that stuff, you know, so that's the story I've written about, but the, 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 the version that exists now currently is still available is, is not selling, but, but it, it, the first half of the book, anyway, or so, about the sick, ill years and what goes through your mind is what everybody agreed they loved about the book, you know, but the fact that I was wanting to change the world after that, coming from the 1970s, with my philosophical expose, uh, I deleted all that and, and rewrote the rest of the book a totally different way. So, so that's the, the contribution I'm trying to make to society. You know, is this understanding of what these people are, what is the the, 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 the reality behind the picture? You know, I mean, what is the the, the scene, the real, the, the, the story behind the picture? You know, I mean, so uh, so this book does this in a good way. And, uh, you know, it's, it's human nature to want to profit from your efforts. And this has been like going on for 20 years to writing this, become this book, you know. So, uh, but if I'm going to cut myself off my medical benefits and not be able to form a medicine uh, and get sick and bother those people again, how can we let that happen? Nobody in their right mind would. Right mind would. I mean... So I, I certainly don't want that to happen, but beyond my control, if I didn't have my medicine, it would, it would, that would, 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 no doubt, that's happened time, too many times before to want a chance happening again if I went off my medicine. So it's been 23 years now that I've been on medicine this year. So, uh, uh, you know, praise God, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a well person and uh, I'm in touch with reality and, uh, and easy to talk to if you know me, if I know you, if you are, I know you, I mean, I'm a very awkward with strangers, but, uh, so, uh, I don't uh, talk easily this way better, perhaps, uh, but, uh, I'm laughing to myself, the joke, that I'm here alone, uh, but, uh, so, so what do you do, you know, with this, uh, it's just a few hundred dollars, or a hundred dollars a year, or fifty dollars a year, Last year was like 2743 or something for 16 calendar year uh, in income from the book, you know. So it, it some change, but but when it, when, it, when it, the, we're in these black and white numbers systems, you know, I mean, it, it all equals out to something different for a penny difference, you know. I mean, it, 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 so so what do you do? You know, I, I was thinking, you know, myself. And then you get into ethical issues, you know, like my uh, dear brother pointed out. And like uh, I said, well, you know, like uh, uh, there's another family member who will have to deal with my uh, things when I uh, I'm deceased, and uh, and I thought, well, I could assign them to that person, you know, and the, the, the royalties for the book, you know, and and uh, and just for their trouble at the time they'll have, you know, I mean. So, uh, then I'll be free and clear of any income from it. But then, then brother philosopher says, uh, you're trying, it would make you look like you're circumventing the system that way then. So that would not be my intent, would be to pay this person for their trouble they're going to have at the time. And, uh, so, uh, then he says, the, my brother, Dan, uh, uh, says to make it a free ebook. So the only way I can justify doing that, then the other side of this coin, then in other words, the other side of this coin is, is that okay. The only way I can justify making it a free ebook, and uh, I want feedback on this if, if, if from anybody and anybody who will give me feedback, I, I will take feedback on what would you do. You know, I mean, okay. So if I make it a free ebook, this formatting issue still have to be resolved one way or another somehow. Something has to be done there. So if you know how to do something like that and want to help, uh, uh, just uh, post me somehow or uh, something electronically and uh, we can work things out uh, maybe and get this done. 
but I need help with this at this point uh, on that, the formatting issues. And, uh, but uh, where was I? Uh, so uh, at, the, at the, po the po point where the book is published as a free ebook, then I could state that it's a public service and not being published is a public service announcement, comma, and in restitution for my infractions against the United States Secret Service, comma, CIA Security Operations Center, comma, FBI, comma, and local community and authorities and community. You know, I mean, so is that the way the book's supposed to go down now? I mean, uh, what, what, this is what, that's how it all summed up. It's, 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 it comes to a quick, like, you know, like I did on the Pink Floyd Wish You Were Here album, you know, the end of the one song, Muckled in the Machine. Uh, yeah. So, what would you do? Uh, please post any comment you wish. I'd be glad to hear it from anything, anybody, anything from anybody, anything from anybody, really. Thank you. Uh, I, I just am lost at this point in space on this idea and uh, in time. And, uh, would like to get this done in my lifetime. This, this, the rest of this book out there, where you can learn what people with paranoid schizophrenia goes on behind the scene, and 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 how you can live a well life if you just find medication that works and and stay there. You know, just ride there in motion to fields in depths of honor, defending. To borrow a line from the S song, "The Gates of Delirium." I smile, says the uh, sage, or whatever I am, savant, not really, I don't know what I am, peace, love.